Hi, I'm Miki Tebeka and welcome to our series about Go interfaces. And this time we're going to look at one of the interfaces that is very embedded inside Go. This is known as the error interface. So error is an interface in order to support, sorry, in order to implement the error interface, you need to implement a single function called error, which returns a string. So here is our authentication package. We have a user and a reason in the authentication error. And then when we want to implement the error interface, we just return the reason of the authentication error. And let's say we have a user, and now we have a login function that gets a user and a password. We define our error. We're going to emit all the code. And finally, we're going to return nil and this error. And we are going to have a test, which is test login. We're going to login Joe with his super secret password. And then we're going to check if we got an error, we're going to fail the test. And when we run the test, it is going to fail. And it is really interesting because it is a nil error. So why does it say it does not equal nil? And the reason is that if you look at the implementation of an interface, and this is the implementation of an interface in the Go source, it is a struct with two fields, a tab and data. Tab is the type that implements the error or information about this type, and data is the actual value that is being returned. And the interface is considered nil only if both of these fields are nil. In our case, this is not true because this error is a pointer to an auth error, so the type is already known. To fix that, it's really easy. Just change the type to an error, and now, if you're going to run the test, it is going to pass. Moral of the story, always use variables of type error. And then if you want to return an auth error, just return it as an error. The nice thing about having your own types is you can use functions such as as and is to check for specific errors and maybe even extract some ex extra information inside the error that is not just the string. However, be aware that anything that implements an error, when it's printed out with hash mark V, can print out all the fields of the struct. So make sure that you're not printing or returning errors directly to clients. This might be a security or a privacy issue. Thank you and see you next time.